Hello and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to make this to do a speed test on the 5G network. So I live in a suburban area, but we do get 5G here. It is the low band network that Verizon just put out. So we're gonna see how much better it is than 4G LTE. Here's my phone, here's my dad's, and we both have the same plan, the same allowance. So we're gonna see how much faster 5G actually is. We're gonna run five to 10 tests, depending on how much it varies. And we're gonna see what you guys think. Obviously the scores are going to vary based on where you are, but I wanna see if there's a tangible tangible difference where we are currently. So quickly, I wanna show you, we're gonna force 5G to be on at this time to make sure we are using it and we don't care about battery life here. Let's get back into the speed test on both. Now let's start. Okay, so there's the last test and as you can tell the 4g was often being 5g both are on verizon both are on the same servers i forced 5g on, on the iphone 12 pro it's weird to see but it seemed like maybe they were on the same network it, their speeds both seemed like they were on lt but i'm going to make a sheet of all the tests with upload and download see the averages see who won but i think the lt might have won for download and maybe the 5g won for upload we'll have to see so we'll go on to that and conclude the video as predicted the iphone 11 pro on lte did win in the download speed but the iphone 12 pro won in upload speed the differences don't seem to be significant enough to say there is a big difference but we could easily do stats on this data to ensure that the boost in upload on 5g was larger than the loss to 4g in download by percentage wise what i need to say is my data may not be representative of what you will get on 5g where you are at however in the current current state, the low band 5G network doesn't seem to be much different than LTE in speed. That being said, it could be better in reliability. You could get it in more places you weren't getting LTE before. I will keep running tests and update you guys in the comments section. Worth noting is that this is an early stage for Verizon's 5G network. To conclude, at this moment and based on my area, which is in the suburbs, 5G isn't anything to obsess about. So I hope you all are doing well. Let me know what you think and peace.